hey everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making a tasty vegan recipe with mushroom and cauliflower so here are the ingredients of our mushroom and cauliflower recipe okay guys so in the middle we have our cauliflower but we are just going to cut off the core of the cauliflower and get the green leaves away then we are going to break the large pieces into small golf size florets next we boil some water and then we put in the florets of cauliflower and let it simmer for about five minutes then we are going to drain it and keep it aside so our cauliflower is ready now we just have to chop our tomatoes into smaller pieces and cut our onions into smaller sizes then we heat up the pot and put in about five tablespoons of vegetable oil okay we let the oil heat then we put in our onion and let the onion saute for about five to seven minutes all right guys so when our onion becomes brown in color we add in our chopped tomatoes and we let it fry together with the onion okay let it fry together so that the onion will enrich the tomatoes with its flavor then you can add in some pepper if you want this is optional pepper actually activates my salivary glands to produce saliva thereby increasing my appetite that's why i always use pepper so now as you see i'm adding some salt right and then i'm going to add in half teaspoon of powdered garlic and also half teaspoon of powdered ginger all right i will stir it and i put in now my maggi cubes for it to taste well okay now i just have to stir and mix everything together okay guys and then the sauce is ready for my cauliflower so after letting our onion and tomatoes to fry for about eight minutes okay so as to kill the sour taste of our tomatoes we are just going to add in our cauliflower and mix everything together just like this guys then we let it cook again for about five minutes during this process the cauliflower is going to produce some juice but it is okay we are just going to wait a little longer maybe like two or three additional minutes for the extra water to dry up then i'm going to add in some parsley leaves to color the cauliflower sauce so that it will look presentable and attractive also the parsley is going to add in some flavor right guys so i'm going to eat this with some rice so i intend to let a little bit of juice stay with my cauliflower because i don't want my rice to be dry in my mouth i need a little bit of sauce that is watery okay i don't want it dry i prefer it a little bit watery and while my cauliflower was getting ready i was boiling my rice also now it's time to cook our mushroom guys and please i decided to cook this aside because mushroom easily absorb any flavor from any sauce it is cooked in so i decided to cook my mushroom aside so that it will not absorb the flavor of the cauliflower and lost its own flavor okay so mushroom is really something that is dirty so because of that you have to wash it well and rinse it at least three times for it to be clean then you cut them into medium sizes and um, guys this is ready for us to stir fry okay mushroom is a very um, nutritive plant it has a lot of fibers and protein and it also helps in uh, preventing certain um heart diseases cancer diabetes so this is really nutritional guys 
So when cooking it, do not cook for too long because you will kill some of these nutrients. All right, guys. And mushroom is a plant-based meat replacement for any dish. So for vegetarians, they can use mushroom to replace meat and it would also go very well. You know, mushroom is not a vegetable. It is a fungus, okay? And it has this amazing meaty texture and a delicious and savory flavor, all right? For those of you who have not eaten this before, try it. And this is actually a very simple recipe here. All you have to do is heat up your pan, put in some oil, then add in your mushroom and just stir fry. And during this process, a lot of juice from the mushroom is going to come out. Do not throw this away. Because I wanted my mushroom to be dry, I stir fry this for about five minutes maximum. I added just salt to it. Then I drained the water and added it in my cauliflower sauce. Okay? So that is what I did. And this is the end product of my mushroom, guys. As you see, it is really tasty. And this is just like meat in my dish. Okay? This is a vegetarian dish. So my mushroom replaces meat. So this is the end product of my dish, guys. What do you think of it? So I have here my cauliflower sauce. Okay, my mushroom and uh, white rice. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it, guys. Hey, what are you waiting for? Join the low carb lifestyle. That is what trends now. Low carbohydrate food. So I've come to the end of this video guys and for those of you who are still watching me up to now guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so I'm not going to let you down okay do not forget to like the video and share it also if you really want me to continue this journey thank you